Let's try to explain how the hexagonal closed pack structure is created using closed packed planes. Here's a small part of a closed packed plane and I'm going to take a, another similar plane and I'm going to stack it on top of the first one. I have three options about where to put this center atom. I could put it above the center of the first plane, in which case it's directly on top. That would be AA stacking, where this is location A, and I'm putting the center of this directly on top of A. If I put the center of this on over here, that's location B, and this is location C, all relative to the first plane that I put down. So if I put this center atom in location B, like so, then I take a third plane and I put the center atom or sphere above the location A of the original plane down here. If I do that, I have stacked my planes in A, B, A. If I continue in this way, stacking A, B, A, B, A, B, I get what is referred to as the hexagonal closed packed structure. Notice that every alternate plane is aligned on top of each other. If I were to slice out of here by cutting here, here, there, and there, if I do that, I can get the unit cell for the hexagonal closed pack structure. So we have a full sphere here, which is in contact with three spheres at the top. It is not in contact with this sphere or this sphere. So in total, from it is this central sphere is in contact with three spheres from the top, three spheres from the bottom, and if we look at how many spheres it is in contact with within its own plane, it is in contact with six. This means that the hexagonal closed pack structure has a total coordination number of 12. Also by looking at the unit cell, we can see how many atoms there are associated with this unit cell. There's one in the middle, there's half on top, and there's half on the bottom. That gives a total of two. Let's see what happens if we use a different stacking order. So the center here is A. I'm going to put this one in the B position, like so. And I'm going to put the third one in the C position. So now I have a stacking order of A on the bottom, B in the middle, C on top, A, B, C. If I pick this up and rotate it, what we'll hope to see, here we go, there. What we have here is part of a plane in the FCC structure. If I put the FCC structure right there, or uh, the unit cell, that's what this is part of. So from this demonstration, I'm, I'm trying to show that the FCC structure, the face center cubic structure, is a closed pack structure that arises from different stacking order, stacking orders of the closed pack planes.